Hi kids, happy morning, I love you. Welcome back to our English class. I hope you are all fine and safe. Before I enter the session, just a few minutes of wake up. What are the topics already discussed in previous session? Do you remember kids? What are the topics we learned in previous session? Yes, you are absolutely correct. Last session we discussed about grammar part that is simple present tense and simple past tense. Okay, regular verbs and irregular verbs. That uh, we will be a recap some past tense of the verbs and then we can go to the next topic. For it kids, okay, now so simple past tense. So here you can look at this picture. First image, the action word is walk. Second image, the action word is eat. Okay. So here the action word walk and here eat. So how you can write the past tense of the walk? We have to add ed at the end of the action word walk walk okay that is called as regular verb which are the verbs we can add ed that action words or that verbs we can call as regular verbs already i told you then some action words we cannot add ed okay so which are the verbs we cannot add ed that action words we can call as irregular verbs. Okay. For example, eat. So, eat is present tense. What is the past tense of eat? Eat. Okay. See. Present tense. What is the past tense of see? Saw. Good it kids. So, these are the action words we can call as irregular forms. Okay. Irregular verb forms. So, I will give you few examples of irregular action verbs. Okay. Now, we will see the past tense of those action verbs. See here. Present tense and past tense. See. The past tense of see is saw. Go. Went. Swim. Swam, fly, flew, catch, caught. Okay. So these verbs we cannot add ed. So that verbs you can say irregular verb. But it kids drink, drank, sing, sang, teach, taught, stand, stood. Sit, sat, okay. eat, ate, ring, rang, mean, meant, speak, spoke, tell, told. Got it? So these are the past tense of action verbs. Again, I will repeat it. Just you have to listen carefully. Got it, kids? See? The past tense of C is saw, go, went, swim, swam, fly, flew, catch, caught, drink, drank, eat, ate, ring, rang, mean, meant, drive, drove. So, these are the past tense of the verbs. Just you have to write it in your rough note. Got it kids? The next one. See, they given a few examples of, of past tense of the verbs in your book, studio book. Just you have to take your book. For example, the past form of the action word sing is sang. This is also we already discussed in our last session. So, same, you should not add ed. You have to write the past tense of the verb is 
san so that is called as irregular verbs here are some examples where the past form of action word is formed differently so they are given a present tense so some present tense of the verbs we should not add ed so that verbs we can call as irregular verbs what are the irregular form of verbs here they given just we will be read it what it gets first one action words in past forms then with the help of those words we have to make a sentence got it see here first action word is wake wake is present tense what is the past tense of wake woke okay the sentence i woke up at 6 o'clock yesterday so here yesterday is a past tense okay so already the action was over woke that is the action word already the action was over so that is that called as past tense i woke up at 6 o'clock yesterday got it kids the next one here run action word what is the past form of run ran okay sonu ran to the bus stand already the action was finished okay so that uh, sentences we have to use the past form of the verb the next one is swim swim is present tense what is the past tense of swim swam okay roshni swam to the end of the swimming pool okay or you can say the pool the next one eat already i discussed eat is present tense past tense of eat is ate i ate a pie yesterday okay the next one write past tense of write is wrote i wrote a letter to my friend today okay. break broke break is present tense broke us past tense my brother broke my pencil okay think already told you thought we thought about what to go for our holidays okay so these are the past tense of the verbs these verbs we can call as irregular verbs so don't forget kids so again i am telling you so which are the verbs we cannot add ed so that verbs we can call as irregular verbs okay right wrote break broke think thought teach thought okay so run ran stand stood tell told so these are the verbs we can call as irregular verbs so just you have to write a few irregular verbs in your rough note got it the next one write so here the action word is write the past tense of the ride is rode so we rode our bicycles in the park so these are the examples they given the next one read these examples aloud fill in the table with the past forms of the given action words some are done for you so here they given a few action words so that is called as present tense so you have to write it in the past tense of action word got it kids so they given come what is the past tense of come came got it the next one send past tense of the verb send is sent keep kept see saw stand stood got it kids so these are the action verbs and we have written past tense of the action words so you have to write everything so which are the past tense of the verbs we discussed today so those verbs so you have to write it in your rough note so and you have to read those words then only you can know that which are the verbs we can call as regular verbs and which are the verbs we can call as irregular verbs so then only it will be helpful for to read and to learn also okay just you have to read it the next one yeah next we are going to see a another grammar topic so that is also we already discussed in previous session so now you can uh, read the sentence what the boy is doing the boy is walking okay so the boy walks how he walks quickly okay so we'll just listen the sentence carefully the boy walks 
quickly got it so here just the subject the boy noun okay the boy is noun how you are saying the boy is noun because that is the naming word very good so name of a person places things or animals that is called as noun am i correct kids do you all remember that what is mean by noun it's a naming word whether if it is a name of a places persons things or animals so that is called as noun okay so the boy is subject they walk that is action word okay so that is called as verb got it the next one what is the last word quickly how the boy walks quick fast okay so quickly so it uh, arise the question how the boy walks am i correct kids so it that describe about that verb okay so which are the words describe about the verb that word we can call as adverb got it see here quickly is an adverb because it tells us how the man walks or how the boy walks got it kids so it arise the question how if it is uh, ask the questions how means that you can easily identify that that is adverb why we are saying that is the adverb because it describe about the verb okay so here verb is walk how he walk quickly it describe about the verb so you can easily identify that that is adverb okay so an adverb mostly you can find at the end of the word it comes ly okay quickly slowly beautifully got it kids okay the next one so here yeah, i'll uh, explain you what is the difference between adjectives and adverb already i thought adjectives okay what is mean by adjectives describing word very good so it describes about now for example i am a tall girl okay so here which is the describing word tall absolutely correct which is the noun girl okay so how am i i am a tall girl so tall is the describing word it describes about the noun it describes about the girl so that is called as adjective do you understand kids yes adjective means nothing but it describes about the noun okay she is a beautiful girl here she subject verb is, is beautiful is describing word girl is noun how she is she is very she looks beautiful so then beautiful describing the girl describing the noun so that's why we are telling that that is adjective got it so which are the words describes about the noun that is called as adjectives which are the words describes about the verb that is called as adverb do you understand the difference between adjectives and adverbs kids again i'll tell you don't worry okay so here adjectives and adverbs are given you can easily identify which are the words ending with ly that is called as adverb okay for example i told you know heavy heavily loud loudly soft softly beautiful beautifully happy happily sad sadly okay so these are the adverbs which are the verbs ending with ly you can easily identify that that is adverbs got it kids 